Hey, what's going on guys? It's you Bitty here, and today we are watching another vegan teacher video. Now, I do have a sore throat, so I won't be talking as much as I normally do, nor screaming. So we're just gonna keep going here today. She's gonna be talking about Call Me Chris. She's a TikToker. Uh, I really like her. He- Okay! Okay. Um, if you guys don't know who that is, um, go on TikTok more. I don't freaking know. But we're gonna get going. Welcome back to class. Welcome back to class. If I walked into my high school class and I get serenaded as I walk in, I would walk the fuck out. Welcome back to class. Don't be a pain in the ass. Please. I'm a pain in the ass. Trust me. You could ask my Spanish teacher. Vegan. Yeah. Be vegan, everybody. Because you can. Because you don't want to hurt the animal. Look. Why well, love one but eat the other? One's cute. One's delicious. Either. And also, uh, China does eat both, so... Right? Makes no sense. It's crazy. She's gonna- You should be going after China vegan teacher, because they eat both of them, so, yeah, fight yourself. That's called speciesism. This one here, look. Why well, love one but eat the other? Be kind to all animals. There's no reason to hurt them. No, eat them, don't wear them, don't use them at all. So what we're looking for in- in the- I think I have a leather belt around here somewhere. Um, yeah, what else do I got that's not vegan friendly in here? Um, I drink milk. Actually, no, I haven't drink- Actually, did I? Did I drink- I drank chocolate milk today. And I had spaghetti. Which definitely had meat in it. Uh, what else did I eat today? I did have rolls. I also had a ban- Uh, shit. Eh. Either way, whatever. Uh, what else? I'm pretty sure I've got some non-vegan healthy items in here, though. If I really wanted to look around. Yeah, the football's made of leather over there. Anyway, let's keep going. The presentation of Chris here today is that she is going to not be promoting any of these products. She should... <laughs> so, which country has better snacks? So she's just going to be doing snacks and stuff. Say no to eggs, milk, cheese, meat, gelatin, honey, ice cream, and yogurt be saying no to eggs, milk, unless it's vegan milk, of course, cheese. I have to admit, all right, I gotta admit, I had vegan milk. It was, it, it was coconut milk, actually. Um, I would recommend it. It's by, um, this is not sponsored, by the way. I don't want silk to fuck me in my booty cheeks. Um, but, yeah, silk makes some really good coconut milk. I'm not gonna freaking lie to you. Meat, so no sausages, no pepperoni, no bologna, no chicken wings, nothing like that. Even all that stuff is delicious. Products, so we don't want to hurt animals here. Okay, no gelatin because gelatin comes from, uh, it's it's in a lot of different candies. It makes it makes them gooey and chewy, but you shouldn't be eating anything that has gelatin because it comes from tendons and ligaments and skin and grinding up pigs. Often they're just baby pigs, baby animals, so it's awful. It could be cows, it could be chickens. You know, grinding up the all the different body parts. And, oh, it's just so sad that they put these into candy just... and they don't even tell children. And then kids eat them at Halloween and they're not even aware that they're eating so much violence that comes from these industries. Of course, don't steal honey from bees because it belongs to them. You can eat maple syrup instead. Ice cream, don't get ice cream that comes from cows, milk, but do get the vegan version. Vegan ice cream most likely doesn't, isn't creamy whatsoever. And same as yogurt. Do not eat anything that comes from animals. In the dairy industry, they rape the males, they forcefully take their sperm, they insert it into the females. That's all called rape. It's not okay. Sexual assault is not okay. And they steal the babies from the mothers. As soon as they're born, the little baby boys, they slit their necks, they turn them into leather jackets, they put them in, they turn them into veal and put their bodies into veal sandwiches. It is awful. Don't. Don't eat anything from the dairy industry. They take the mother cows and they force them to be pregnant. Then they also steal their milk. How would you like it if somebody stole your milk? Uh, I'd beat the fuck out of them. All right, nobody takes my good ass two percent milk. That nice creamy two percent. That Chris here is going to be talking about these important things. Let's have a look at her presentation. But first, before we do, let's look at a few kinds of different candy. She's going to be talking about different foods. Some some of the things that are vegan. So we have here Sour Patch Kids. Did you know that they're vegan? You can go ahead and look at this. Thank God I don't eat Sour Patch Kids. List 
can just Google vegan candies anytime that you want to, in case you didn't know. Twizzlers, these are... These There's are a reason everybody candies. hates fucking vegan. Twizzlers. There's all kinds of different vegan things. There's Swedish fish. No, not Swedish fish! Not Swedish fish! I love Swedish fish. Fucking Swedish fish. It's freaking delicious. Any fish, of course. These are just candies, and they don't contain any gelatin. Remember, though, always, even the products that I'm promoting here, or that I'm showing you here, remember, always read the ingredients list twice. Don't just believe me, because sometimes these companies change at the last second. But generally speaking, Airheads. the ingredients here have been vegan. Uh, and still are dots vegan, so taste like shit anyway. Vegan. Skittles Kinds, are good. They don't contain any animal products, and dots... No, not Skittles! So Fucking remember, nerds! nerds. Also, so just have a look whenever you're not sure. Check out the list. Fun, fun dip and uh, fun dip's okay. Just sugar, it's not healthy for you. It doesn't have anything nutritious in it, but at least you're not hurting animals. And same as sweet tart. So Wonka. These are just some examples. Let's have a look at at Chris's uh, presentation here, and let's see. We're looking for her to say the word. Some of my candies that I like are vegan. I don't know how to feel about it. Honestly, it's candy though. So, the fucking Rio, stop calling me. Vegan. And we're looking for her to not be promoting any violence. Hopefully, she's going to say every food that she mentions, she should say, this is vegan. And if it's not, she shouldn't even be showing it on camera. Oh, what is this? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Call Me Chris, and you can call me Chris. We're going to be trying some snacks today. Solid intro, by the way. I have to admit. you. Uh, we have you were vegan snacks. Oh, not just any snack, Chris. You gotta say the word vegan. I'm gonna give you an X for that. Yes! Sir, on the right side, and then we have Scotland on the left side. This is the video nobody asked for, but I'm gonna do it because it's my channel and I can do what I want. There was like. Yeah! We do what we want on our channel. Yeah, Call Me Chris is my new favorite YouTuber. Not okay, it's your channel. You can do whatever you want. That's true. But when you have this many followers, you have a social responsibility to only promote vegan food. It's not her social fucking responsibility, and when was there ever a prerequisite for there being vegan foods? Honestly, I, you know what? I should find something non-vegan to eat. I, actually, that's what I'm gonna fucking do. I'll be right back with, with some non-vegan things to eat on camera while watching this shit. Hey guys, I'm back. I got that good old 2% milk. Good shit. We got, and I got fried chicken to my right. And some barbecue grilled chicken on my left. So, so uh, yeah, I better get three strikes for this. Because lots of people are watching you. And if you start promoting non-vegan foods, then people are going to run out and buy what you're promoting. Therefore, you're not just hurting the animals in front of you. That shit's you're good. You're also encouraging so many other people to do so. Chris, you have to make sure you read the ingredients before you talk about any of these products. I'm listening. I'm listening for vegan ingredients. I don't hear you reading Not the ingredient list. to do one video with the U.S. ones, but... All right, I need to talk about the ingredients real quick. 0% milk. Obviously, it's milk, but with no dairy. Oh, wait, I'm kidding. It's 2% milk, actually. This is fried chicken. It's chicken, a little bit of breading on it. Some seasoning. I put some ketchup on there because I can't eat fried chicken without something drizzled. And this is just, like, perfectly marinated chicken that's just... Let's just keep this going. Plenty for the Scottish ones. So I just thought we'd just like put them together. It's the war that nobody asks for, and we will see who prevails. Like I can solve all the wars. We can just like put the snacks of two different countries. Taking a long time to get to the point. Read the ingredients of all of these foods. Tell us which ones are vegan and which ones aren't. Just down and I'll decide which one wins. I should stop talking. Okay, let's just get into the video. Let's just start this. Okay. okay? Good. start with Scotland because I've always wanted to go there and I'm excited. You can kind of tell, I don't know if you guys can see this, the Scotland side is very muted. Uh, I just, I was Irish. Uh, it's muted. Okay, that's taking a while. So let's see. I always wanted to try haggis. No, I, ha no, I don't. No, I just okay. want to say that I've tried haggis to sound cool. You're eating chips? I wanted to try a type of chip to sound cool. What's going to make you sound cool is to talk about not hurting animals. No, it doesn't. It'll make her lose followers. And promoting veganism. Oh, 
Not sponsored. Okay, Chris, I happen to know that this brand actually is vegan. And I'm happy to see that you're saying they're good, so I'm going to give you a check mark for that. But Aren't all potato chips vegan other than the ones that are cheese flavored? Just guessing. Don't forget, you have to tell people that they're vegan, whatever you're eating. <sighs> mm, yeah, they're pretty, I would give these like an 8 out of 10. I okay, 8 out of 10 for a vegan product. Excellent. Get another check mark for that. God dang it. These. These are really Stop giving this bitch check marks. Really nice. Scotland, starting to look on it. I'm sorry for my Scottish accent for this whole video. I'm gonna be doing a poor Scottish accent for pretty much the whole thing, okay? Sorry about that. Next, the Iron Brew bonbons. Oh, I suck at YouTube. Oh my god. They left me notes. What are the notes? What notes? Uh, hopefully you're gonna be reading us the ingredient list. No! Okay, for, for Scotland, I forgot to say this. We have, these are from Nathaniel and Liz. Nathaniel and Liz, thank you so much for sending all these. They gave me the synopsis on everything. I kind of skimmed. She's about to be pissed that they're not, that they're not ingredients. She's like, you're just thanking people for sending you these foods? You know I'm excited. All right, let's get back to the snack. Okay, I was gonna, yeah, these. I'm gonna try these. Iron brew bonbons. Chewy bonbons bursting with iron brew flavor. Read the ingredient list, Chris. What is iron brew? It sounds... Natalie. Gotta give you an X. You're not talking about reading anything in the list. We gotta make sure that they don't have any milk in there, no eggs, no butter, nothing. No salami, nothing. No candy. I wanna make sure there's no gelatin. Remember, gelatin is not something that we wanna eat, and it, it's a chewy part in many types of candies. Oh, <laughs> Okay, I'm moving on to the next thing. I've tea cakes, milk chocolate. Oh no, milk chocolate. Don't eat those. Yeah! X, don't even promote those at all on your channel. Not good. What else have you- Hershey's is the best, by the way. I wish I had Hershey's right now. God. What is this? No, that's the tea cake still. Hashtag not sponsored. It's a chip with more flavor in it. It literally just like- Oh my, is this a chip that ha has- that is made out of steak or something like that? What is this? Fast forward to this, I'm gonna eat this. Holy shit. Tomatoes are good. That was a really poor idea because there's so many more snacks to eat. Okay, let's let's just go on to Chips, McCoy's flame grilled steak. That sounds really good. Yeah! Steak? Sounds really good actually. Good? No. Don't say the word steak unless you are talking about not eating steak. Never say that it's good, Chris. Oh, it's like a steak is delicious. I don't know why you hate it. Kind of oh, yeah. No. Don't say yeah and don't say it smells good. Do not promote cruelty. Fried chicken time. If I could pick it up. I've never tasted chip with more flavor in it. Don't ever talk about how flavorful it is. It's not right to talk about eating the dead animals that didn't want to die. A steak is a mother cow or a father cow or something. Does, does he even know he's a dad though? They're just baby cows. Don't eat steak. Would you be able to kill a cow on your own, Chris? Yes. Don't. I cows would. Don't belong in Bro, I do it the Oliver Queen way. Just freaking. Just, where's my body pillow? I need to grab it real quick. Just freaking lay it down on its back. Fucking, cause cows can tip over. Fucking grab it right here, hold it, just fucking. You know what I mean? Fuck. Fucking take the machete, fucking cut its head off. Freaking cut its head off. And then send it to the, wherever the fucking butcher. He chopped that shit up. I take it home, I cook that motherfucker, and I have the greatest fucking dinner I've ever had in my entire life. Packages. It's wrong. We shouldn't even be breeding these animals into existence in the first place. Do you know that chickens, cows, pigs, these are so badly treated. Have you ever wondered why you don't see that many of them? Because they're in these giant set sheds, these giant facilities that, that live in Holocaust-like conditions. They're forced to be pregnant against their will. Often they don't get to see the, si the sky or the sun. 
until the day that they're being murdered and they're taken away on trucks. 200 pigs at a time are taken on trucks. And cows, I've looked into them. I have seen this with my own eyes. It is absolutely horrible. Please do not promote any of this in the future. I'm giving you an X for this, Chris. This is not right. It literally just like punches you in the face. You're talking about the figurative punching you in the face of the flavor. I'm talking about the literal slitting of the ro the throats of these- Of the ropes? They're slitting the ropes? Are they just tied up or some shit? No. Animals. Don't hurt animals. Animals are here with us on the planet. Not for us. They are for us. Hurting. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Never promoting them. Don't put them in your mouth. Your body should not be a tomb. Your body should be a garden. How is it a tomb? How is it a tomb that, at, like, 24 hours later after this video, I'm gonna take a nice shit and, it, you know what, the tomb is actually the, the fucking, wherever the fuck the shit goes after you flush it. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I just love how the packaging is so deceiving, Scotland. You're just like, yeah, give me a piece of that, and then you eat it, and you're like, holy f that's good. 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10! Yeah, you're getting an X for that, Callie, Mechris, and I love everybody who gets X's. I, I got a bunch more videos that I gotta make. I've, I've just been behind because I've got school going on now. So, so I haven't really be, been able to record as much as I'd want to. But, but yeah, call me Chris. Just got next. And I'm happy. You said it's good again. Oh, no. You said 10 out of 10, Chris? No. Never promote these horrible pro products. How would you like it if somebody killed you and stuck some of your flavor into a package? First of all, that's murder. And cannibalism. At the same motherfucking time. So you can't compare, so shut the fuck up. And somebody else is holding up a bag like you are right now saying, Hey, Chris tastes good. Come on. These look weird. Look at this kid on, on this thing. I really want Chris to, like, react to this. And be like, bitch, who the fuck asked you? What is that? Mimi Chews. Are you gonna read the ingredients? He looks like he needs help. Read the ingredients. We want to make sure if they are chewy that they don't contain gelatin. It's toffee. These products. Remember. Is toffee vegan? You show should be vegan. One hundred percent vegan. I don't think don't so. Don't hurt animals ever. Not a chicken. Not a pig. I'm not eating chicken animals. right now, and I'm not ashamed. I'm. Turkeys at Christmas. Eat other. I'm also things. drinking a baby cow's Eat milk, so whatever. Society, Chris, and we need your help. Because you have a huge audience, so you are very influential to the young generation. Also, two point five million subs. Environment, Chris. The more vegan products you eat, the less your eco footprint on this channel. Looks like he has the Benjamin Button disease. Who made this? Iron Brew again. Okay. Highland Toffee. <gasps> toffee. Most toffee contains either eggs or milk or something. Well, like then that. that's great. She's getting an X. That not okay. Read the ingredients list. Nice. Those are different flavors. Listen to this. That's loud as hell. Like this one. Only because it it seems very chewy. Only uh, because it contains animal products. Sticky. Nope. You know, the flavors there very buttery, butterscotchy. Butter is not good. Butter comes from a cycle of violence that is the dairy industry. Butter is made from milk. Butter comes from my ass. Do you believe in stealing, Chris? Fuck. I don't. It's not right to steal. Don't steal milk from mothers and then turn that milk into butter or cheese or ice cream. It's not right, Chris. When I first began... After this video, I'm gonna take my ass to Dollar Tree and get as much non-vegan candy as I fucking can. At Rolls Royce, I'm definitely surprised at how complex all the operations are, and it takes not sponsored. Choose vegan candies only, and make sure you read the ingredients list here for us. I can't eat it. Oh, I got to it out. Flavor's good, but edibility is like a 2 out of 10, so I'm gonna give it 4 out of 10 on the toffees. We have some wet cheese. Yeah, you heard me right. It says keep refrigerated. Cheese! She gets another X! 
I hope that vegan teacher makes a video on me because I just want just X after X after X after X after X after fucking X. Body parts should not be in plastic bags. Never eat cheese. Only vegan cheese. Made for aren't body aren't body bags technically putting body parts in bags? I don't I don't know. I'm reading too much into this. Either tofu or from cashew nuts. Anything, but not body parts, Chris. I'm gonna move on here to another thing and see if I see anything else here. What's what's going on here? Ow, my with... fucking finger! Let's see. Not zero out of ten. I don't like coconut. But that's okay. I know it's not your fault. We have. Okay, you don't like coconut, but coconut is vegan. Just so. I'll. J uh, I don't like coconut either, but might I recommend? Um, again, not sponsored. Coconut silk milk, alright? This is not sponsored by silk. Don't fuck me, silk. Don't fuck me. I'm not- you're not sponsoring me. I know that this is not sponsored. I'm just recommending it, okay? I'm just saying. I Just don't fuck me. God damn it! I just got a lawsuit. So you know. Tea. Assuming Unless, of course, you get the brand where they force the monkeys to climb up the trees and take the coconuts. In that case, it's not vegan because you're still- is it forcing if it's trained, though? I don't want to climb that shit. If I have an animal climb that shit for me, I'd be happy. I'm hurting the animals, but you can check. Do research. Go look under ethical coconut. This is just a regular tea. Tea is vegan. Good job. Check mark for that. God, fuck! Scottish blend. It says specially blended for Scottish water. Specially blended for Scottish water. News flash. I can't even drink this tea. You expect me to fly all the way to Scotland to drink this? I'll go make some tea. I'll be right back. I spilled it everywhere. <laughs> the way she said, I spilled it everywhere. Oh, yeah, it's just like a regular tea. I know what this would taste like. I don't even need to try it. Well, I will try it, but I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not for this video because it's all over my table. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, let's move on to America. Let's yeah, watch your game. Fucking A. You were, that was great. I'm gonna give it an overall score of 8 out of 10. Okay, on to the Americans. I don't know. Yeah, I see Cheez Its, I see Cookie Crisp, I see Funfetti. I agree, not if there were all those animal products. Wouldn't give Scotland an 8 out of 10. Snackages. I have a bowl. How come you didn't eat any apples, oranges, bananas? How come you didn't. Because they're fucking everywhere. You can't go. I can go to fucking China and find fucking bananas, apples, and shit. It's everywhere. You can't go anywhere without finding an apple, a fucking banana, or nothing. Are you fucking retarded? I didn't eat any kind of vegetable, spinach. How come you didn't eat Because they're fucking everywhere. This is supposed to be exotic shit. Only like available in America, only available in places. Fucking bananas and shit are available everywhere. God, you're fucking retarded. Like a salad. Why are you trying only these boxed ingredients full of processed food, extra salt and sugar? Chris, no. <coughs> At least you got next. I also choked on 2% milk. So let's keep going. This is my favorite snack. So I'm gonna try these. I uh, already opened this when the camera died. So haven't tried it yet though. Cookie. Cookie crisps. Read the ingredients. I know those cookie crisps are not vegan. I know for a fact, actually. It smells sugary. I'm only gonna do like a few. I only have one bowl. I need to do dishes. Cashew milk because cashew milk. That's great. Good job. That's vegan. Because I heard you say cashew milk because. Hopefully you're gonna say because you care about the animals, right? Say because it's the only milk in your fucking house. Or maybe you are lactose intolerant? What is it? Either way, don't eat animals. By the way, people are never lactose intolerant. They are just simply not baby cows. Cow's milk is meant especially for baby cows. We shouldn't be taking baby cow's milk. Fuck you. I mean, can you think of any other species that goes and drinks the milk of another? I'm pretty sure there's a couple I could name, but if I knew- if I was M.N. Minde- the fucking animal guy on TikTok, maybe I could. Like, who comes and drinks but dog not. milk? And how come milk? you don't drink uh, dog's milk? Because why would I suck on a fucking doggy titty? Cat's milk. Why do we only drink cow's milk? 
It belongs to baby cows. Anyway, that's good that you're promoting silk. Silk is vegan. Like a few. Silk, actually, on its own, is not is a type of material that is used to make clothing. That itself is not not vegan. I want to correct myself and make sure you understand. The brand of milk that's called silk is vegan. It is made from plants. That part is good. Why'd you have to stand there for like a couple seconds with like <laughs> vegan teacher certified? You're not gonna be a spokesperson for silk, all right? Because everybody fucking hates you. Anyway, Gordon Ramsay going strong for the, as silk spokesperson, and I'm very happy about that. I only have one bowl. <laughs> I need to do dishes. Cashew milk. Because ah, uh, you already know she's lactose intolerant. She's she's lactose intolerant. I didn't know. Okay, you're lactose intolerant. Okay. That's Did you say lactose intolerant? That's not a reason, though, Chris. You have to read the ingredients and tell people to buy that product because it doesn't hurt animals. I'll give you a check mark <clears throat> anyway, I guess, for drinking it. Let's try. Call me Chris. Better fail this, or I will never respect her as a person again. Not sponsored. Thinking about buying a not sponsored. I'm not sponsored. It's not sponsored. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Those are sweet. Why do read the ingredients? What's this cheese it? Oh yeah, she notices the cheese it's fuck yeah. What is that? There's another product on there, cheese. Don't yeah. promote animal cruelty. Cheese! Only promote vegan products. Fucking cheese. Oh, Chris. Americans put crack in all of their, like, any cereal. Can't, like, it's it's on another level. I had to only put, like, ten pieces in here, and that's all I could eat. Like, if I was a kid, I would have finished the box in, like, one sitting. I give these seven out of ten. I probably wouldn't eat. It says on there, chip. What is it? Chocolate chips. It's chocolate chips. Chocolate chips, they put milk in them. Make yeah, them chocolate chips. Chocolate chips without any milk in them. What else? What's next? Eat them now. Maybe if I was under the influence or something, but yeah. Seven out of ten. Not a bad start. I'm excited to try these. Fun Betty. Fun Betty. What? Oh my god. That looks, that looks so unhealthy. So processed. Read the ingredients. I've only ever had Funfetti cake before, so I'm just hoping and praying to the cereal. By the way, you need milk to make the batter, so fuck you. Oh god, that this tastes like that. It smells like... Well, you don't need cake. I, I want milk, I, I think. I mean, I use milk in my, when I ever I make cake. I just think it makes it more be It just makes it better, but whatever. It smells exactly like that. I'm starting to feel so sick. There's still some milk in here. Read the ingredients. Again, you you're not reading the ingredients. <laughs> more excess. Not as sweet though. It's like more subtle. That's nice. I yeah, I would. And that's a family size box. I'm scared for tonight. Yeah, I'd give these a nine out of ten. Nine and a half out of ten. All right, let's. <laughs> I'm scared for later tonight. She's about to be snacking. Move on to something a little more savory. We have these pretzels, nuggets, peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Ooh, peanut butter's vegan. Check mark for that. But read the ingredients. Nuggets. Nuggets mean small things, not chicken nuggets, at least. Pretzels? Pretzels have some sort of flour in them, are usually vegan, but read the ingredients. Please read the ingredients. Come on, Chris, you can do it. Which sounds weird to me. She's not gonna fucking do it. Let's try I'm not the biggest peanut butter fan, but I love pretzels, so. Oh, it's got peanut butter in it. I don't know if this is a marketing tactic, but I wonder if they make like a drink to go with this because this is hella dry. Peanut butter with salty pretzels. My mouth is like Sahara. It's like Tatooine. They're good, <laughs> but so dry. I would give them six out of ten. We have three types of M&Ms. Let's go through them. Yes! M&Ms I know for sure are not vegan. Because M&Ms are great! They're fucking amazing! Again, not sponsored, alright? Especially the caramel ones though. I love the caramel ones. My, my favorite variant. Three types, that's three X's. Yes! Three Add X's! Hazelnut spread. Oh, so it's like a Nutella one. Oh, Nutella is not vegan. Yes! Nutella has milk in it. Nutella's delicious! Oh, Chris, this is so disappointing. 
I'm really sorry, Chris. I don't know if I should even watch any more of this. I mean. This is like nice. No, don't say it's nice. Four out of ten. I thought I'd like that better. I'm a little disappointed, America. Let's try peanut butter M and M's. Come on, you're getting the wrong berries. chocolate, and what they do is they put in them milk. Yes. If it was just the chocolate part, that would be fine. Unfortunately, M and M's are delicious. We're going downhill, America. These are fudge brownie M and M's. Come on, you need to get you need the caramel ones. Unless you have the caramel ones in Canada already. You can't really see it, but it's literally a brownie. Those are good. It's like a brownie and an M&M. Eight out of ten. Okay, we're back. Yes. We're back up. All right, on to salty. Everything but the bagel seasoned cooked kettle potato chips. Potato chips typically are vegan, but sometimes they actually put a little bit of milk in the ingredients. I don't know why. It's insanity. But milk. the ingredients. I've never had the bagel seasoning. I've heard lots about it on TikTok. Read the ingredients. I need the Scottish characters to come in to help. Wow, I can't open that. Is there a different way to open this? Like, seriously? Jay, help. It's, it's the tab. Oh, there's a little tab there. Uh, uh, oh, cool. <coughs> That's got a lot of smell in it. Definitely everything bagel seasoning. I feel like you need a dip with these because it is so strong. You know what's bad when you can smell your own breath? It's Aaron and I six years today and I uh, won't be kissing them, that's for sure. Sorry, these are like a three out of 10, not my shit. We have some more chocolate. We have a zero bar. Zero, yeah. what a name. Caramel, peanut, and all. Reading the ingredients. Almond nougat covered with white flat fudge. This looks wrong. You didn't read everything. Is there milk in there? There probably is. It's chocolate, caramel, and other oh, shit. Chris. Listen, I'm gonna have to stop. I think I've seen enough of your presentation today, and unfortunately, you only got a few check marks and a lot of X's. Yes! Yeah! How? That's perfect. That's actually amazing. I didn't hear you talking about any vegan foods at all. No fruits, no vegetables. Come on, yeah, she failed. She failed! Yes! Remember. Why love one animal, but eat the other? Don't don't worry, all right. I, while I was getting my chicken, I put my dog in the fucking oven and turned it up to four hundred degrees. So I think we're fine. I think we're fine, all right. By the way, that was a joke. I don't want to get fucked in my ass. Please don't kill, like call shit on me. I don't want to get my dogs taken away. It was a fucking joke. Don't fucking crucify me. Um. Anyway, let's keep going. Always read the ingredients and make sure that they don't contain any of these in the future. No eggs. All right, she's just gonna do her shitty ass intro, so I'm just gonna be. So I'm gonna do mine, which is way better. So yeah. Anyway, guys, leave a like and a comment. Tell me if you want some more vegan teacher. And yeah, bye guys. Have a bitter day.